Well, the old con is beginning to look like a saxophone again. A very sporty con, I might add. It's looking quite different from the one that I bought on eBay. The next project will be making a belt body brace and I got a little inspired by the Theo Wayne design of the four point uh, body to build brace and I think I'll do something like that. I need to calculate exactly where to put the feet because that has to be nodal points but that's just a simple calculation to do that. So uh, yes, body to build brace coming up. It's time to bring in the post pounder. Maybe you remember it, I showed you in an earlier video. It's just a homemade tool, but it's very useful when you uh, make posts from scratch. You need to bend the foot so it suits the curvature of either the cone or wherever you're going to place this foot. And uh, it's very simple how you do it. You need to have some sense of direction, so I just mark up here the blue line, which is the 90 degrees angle, and I have a little blue mark here. So now I know it needs to go like this, or it can turn, and if it turns, it's all fucked up, because it needs to be exactly the right curvature, the right way as well. trying to fit this brace female receiver that is going in uh, fitting in the post foot like this and it needs to have the right angle because the post foot is going to be uh, sitting uh, flat on top of the curve here on the bell so it's a bit of fitting work, but I think I'm getting there. It's time to make the last two arms of the brace. And I do that by heating up this bar of brass. I need to have it just a little bit longer than the model because of it needs to have a twist it needs to be bent in an almost 90 degrees to fit into the brace foot looks really good I think so if I 
put it up there. Does it have the right angle? Yeah, it does. Now when this goes on here, it hits exactly that point. When I bend this down in a 90 degrees angle, it's going to connect to this point here. So this arm is ready for soldering. There's a little marking from the bending, I need to fix that. But that's okay. This is the part I normally leave out of my videos because it's, I think it's a little visually boring. But the uh, sanding is a very important part of getting the right finish. If you just don't want to bother with it, you get a finish that is much inferior to a very nice sanded job. So you need to spend time sanding, that's just the way it is. Polished now, uh, not polished, but sanded, and um, it is starting to look fairly okay, I think. As you can see, I got the feet bent down, so th this one needs a little more bending because it needs to hit hit the center of this blue spot. This one. Uh, I need to bend that a little bit as well, but all in all it looks quite nice. It takes a lot of patience, but <laughs> that everything with a saxophone takes patience. This went really well. The little female part of the brace foot was soldered on and it fits really nice and the uh, brace foot is ready to be soldered in place. Everything has been aligned now so that the, um, the main cone and the bone bell uh, has the right angle. I've checked that before so it's, it's really uh, ready for soldering. So I'll be soldering this post on as the next thing. This is a bit of a tricky spot to um, measure, but what I want to do is I want to, this line you have here, which is going to be soldered onto the brace, I'm going to have that line vertical.